Well, we miss Rajon, first of all, because, uh, you know, it, it weakens us up at runner and it weakens us up at wide out because he was both. Uh, it's obviously given our freshman backs an opportunity. Um, and I see a guy that has a lot of ability, uh, but he's got a long way to go. And um, he's probably not running with the confidence that he needs to run with, and probably the grind of camp is affecting him physically. So we got to get through camp, get him fresh, and tighten him on a game plan and see how he can do it under the lights. Do you think he's thinking too much, and that's why he's probably not confident, the uncertainty that's there? Um, I think it's just more experience. You know, yeah, you're running plays that you've never run before, and you're running behind guys you never uh, – run behind and you're seeing defenses you've never seen and there's a lot of protections you got to learn which you never had to do in high school and so the hardest thing in football is getting guys to play fast because there's so much thinking that has to go on uh, at the beginning of the play and during the play and then when that thought becomes reaction that's when you got it and the only way to do that is just an inordinate amount of repetition. With two running backs out, does that make it just more difficult on, on touring and stuff during practice? Just because they no, we don't. When when guys go down, we don't punish the you know the other guys. We bring in other guys to make up for the reps. So I don't, that's not a very wise thing to do. Torn's going to get the same amount of reps as he would, no matter how many backs are out there. So. Uh, but we're, we're nicked up at, at runner, we're nicked up at receiver, and that's affecting us right now.